Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last three videos, we have discussed about the importance of IUPAC nomenclature, IUPAC nomenclature of stretch chain alkanes and also about the IUPAC nomenclature of branch chain alkane. And today in part 4, we are going to talk more about IUPAC nomenclature of branch chain alkane. These are some of the rules which we have discussed in the earlier videos about the branch chain alkane. You can have a quick look at all these steps. Now coming to the next step. Now, the question that arises is, what happens if the two different substituents are in equivalent position? So, what is the question? We know that in IUPAC nomenclature, the substituent should get a minimum number. But what happens if the substituents, if Supposing there are two substituents in the alkane and both the substituents are at equivalent position. So which group will get the preference? Step 9 talk about it. If the two different substituents are in equivalent position, the lower number is given to the one which comes first in the alphabetical order. This you will understand better if I explain with an example. Here are two compounds. We are going to compare this compound with the other compound. We are going to compare this with this compound. Look at the first compound. The first compound, in this first compound, this is the longest chain having the 8 carbon, having 8 carbon and so this is the longest chain and these two are the substituents. Which are the substituents? Methyl and ethyl. So, if we do the numbering from this side, from left hand side, the methyl group gets 3 number and ethyl group gets 4 number. But if somebody wants to do numbering from this side, okay, then what will happen? Ethyl group will get 5 number and methyl group gets 6 number. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 whereas 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So which is the lowest number? 7. So which is the correct way of numbering? The one which is written in black, the black numbers are the correct way of numbering whereas the red numbers are wrong way of numbering. And so the compound name is 4-ethyl-3-methyl-octane. Why not 3-methyl-4-ethyl-octane? Because we know that while writing the alkyl group, that alkyl group gets preference which comes first in the alphabetical order. So E comes before M and so 4-ethyl, 3-methyl and not 3-methyl, 4-ethyl octane. Okay, this you have already done it in the last videos. Now look at the second compound. The second, in the second compound also, this is the longest chain having 8 carbon. But here, both ethyl and methyl are at equivalent position. If you do the numbering from left hand side, then 1, 2, 3, methyl occupies 3 position. But if we do numbering from this side, then ethyl occupies 3 position, 1, 2, 3. So, if you do the numbering from this side, methyl gets 3 position and ethyl gets 6 position. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 
whereas if you do numbering from right hand side then ethyl gets 3 position and methyl gets 6 position so again 3 plus 6 is 9 so then which is the correct way of numbering we can't have two system of numbering because IUPAC nomenclature gives a unique and unambiguous structure the name gives a unique and unambiguous structure and from a structure we have to derive at a single chemical name. So which is the correct way of numbering? The rule says the alkyl group that comes first in the alphabetical order should be numbered first followed by the other. So the correct way of numbering is this because E comes before M and so the name of this compound is 3-ethyl-6-methyl octane. Let's go to the next rule. How to name a compound if the branch alkyl chain is further branched? Step 10, talk about it. If the branch alkyl chain is further branch or cannot be expressed by a trivial or more common name like isobutyl, neopentyl, secondary butyl, tertiary butyl, etc., then naming of the alkyl chain is done following certain procedure. What are they? A. First, find out the parent chain and give the parent alkane name. B. Then, the carbon of the branch chain attached to the parent chain is numbered 1. C. The naming of the branch chain is done in the same way as simple branch chain alkanes are named. D. Afterwards, the name of the branch chain of the branch chain alkane alkyl group is placed in parenthesis and used as a prefix name to the parent alkane name. Step E. Finally, the position of the branch alkyl chain alkyl group is written before the parenthesis. You will again understand this better if I explain you all with an example. Look at this molecule. See the branch chain is further branched here. So here lies the problem. This is the straight chain and the branch chain is further branched here. So how to name this type of compound? So, our first job is to find out which is the longest chain. Let's look at this chain. What is the number, how many number of carbon atoms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you number this carbon atom, if you take this chain, then how many number of carbon atoms? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you take this chain, then how many number of carbon atoms? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, which is the longest chain? The longest chain is this. Having 12 carbon atoms. Okay. So, this becomes the parent chain and this becomes the alkyl chain. Now, since the parent chain is having 12 carbon, so it is named as the alkane. The parent alkane name is dodecane. But at the 6th position of the 12 carbon chain, there is a branch alkyl chain which is further branched. So, how to number this compound? This alkyl, this branch alkyl chain will have this carbon of the branch alkyl chain 
will be numbered 1. Okay. Then the next carbon will be number 2, the next one will be number 3 and the next one will be number 4. So, what will be the name of the branched chain? The branch chain will, be, will have a name 2,3-dimethyl butyl. This is 2,3-dimethyl butyl chain. Now, this 2,3-dimethyl butyl, this alkyl, the name of this branch chain alkyl should be written in the parenthesis. So, what will be the IUPAC name of this big compound? Let's see. The IUPAC name of this compound is, see, the branch alkyl chain is written within the parenthesis 2,3-dimethyl-butyl. 2,3-dimethyl-butyl. This branch chain should be written in the parenthesis. Where is that branch chain located? That branch chain is located at the 6th position of the 12th carbon chain. And so, the number 6 is written outside the parenthesis. 6th position of which chain? 12th carbon chain and so it is dodecane. So, what is the name of this entire compound? 6-2,3-dimethyl-butyl dodecane. So, this is how we name, we give the IUPAC name of the branch chain alkene which are where the branch is further branch. Now we are going to discuss more about the rules of the branch chain alkene in the next video. That's all for today. If you like my video, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Before I end, I want to end with a thought. Being the best is great. I am number one. But being unique is greater as I am the only one. Thank you and bye-bye.